Now, on to today's show. We on BBLB feel that uh, this week's Employee of the Week should be seen and not just heard. Unfortunately, he didn't quite agree with us and insisted we conceal his true identity, the rotter. I'm Marcus Bentley, and I'm the narrator of Big Brother. I'll read out loud. Grace, Leah and Nikki were voted back into the house next door. I arrive approximately 2 o'clock every day. I meet with the producer who gives me the script. Oh, Marcus, here you go. I go up to my voiceover booth, uh, settle down, get in there and record it. One of the ex-housemates will be moving back into the main house on Friday. Thanks, Marcus. That was absolutely perfect. Takes me about five minutes. Uh, although I'm probably waiting around uh, eight hours uh, every day. It's not like a normal job when somebody can cover for you if you're ill. I have got to be here, because I can't afford anybody to take my job. The original producers of Big Brother were looking for uh, a voice, and they got us to sort of record some uh, words, and they liked the way I said chickens. It's a back-to-basics existence. Growing their own vegetables, making their own bread, and getting eggs from their own chickens, and chickens, and chickens, and chickens. And chickens. So, thankfully, that got me the job. And chickens. And well, my voice, obviously, is my livelihood, and uh, I've got to protect it. I don't smoke. When I go to footy matches and whatever, I can't really uh, cheer out with the rest of the fans. Obviously, people don't recognise my face, but uh, when I'm on the phone, maybe find something. So you read your credit card number out, and people go, oh, could you, could you say that again? And I go, hang on, it's the third time I've said this, you know. And then I hear giggling at the end and go, uh, we know who you are. I don't know what the best part of my job is. I just love it all. Everybody's so happy and jolly, and everyone's so into the show and all the characters. It's a great honour being uh, your employee of the week, but do I deserve it? <laughs> You decide. Well, you should start cheering right now because it's the people's choice, the Rolls Royce of voices. It's Marcus Bentley, everyone. <laughs> Marcus! Marcus, are you there? Hi, Dermot. I'm oh, here. Oh, Marcus. Oh, Marcus. Here. Marcus, you're here. You're with us. Ha how, how does it feel to be awarded the honour of Employee of the Week, Marcus? It's a privilege. I'm getting all emotional. Oh, can, you, can you say the word all emotional again for me? I'm getting all emotional. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you, you've been awarded the last award of the series. We've saved the best till last, Marcus. How does that in, in particular feel? I don't know. I'm just a bit tearful. I, I, I think I'm the employee of the decade. Oh, my word. OK. Uh, and lastly, uh, do people always ask uh, you to record their mobile phone messages, Marcus? Oh, all the time. It's a bit of a nuisance, to be honest. OK. Well, for you, Marcus, we're going to put an end to it once and for all. Everyone, now is the time to put your phones next to the TV and record. It's today, and the owner of this phone <laughs> is really busy. So either leave a message or don't leave a message. You decide. Ah, Marcus. Marcus, if it's not so uh, presumptuous of me, uh, if you don't mind, it just remains me to present you with a coveted Employee of the Week badge and mug, Marcus. Oh, my word. Oh, Marcus Bentley. Uh, as you were No, no, cheering won't be necessary because it's with great sadness that I bring you some extremely tragic news. Don't mock me. I'm very upset about this. Quite devastatingly, BBLB's much-loved bunny cam has hopped his last hop, borrowed his last burrow, nibbled his last carrot. And all because of the dangerous actions of one reckless fool. <laughs> 